I'm just going to cut, go straight to the subject. I'm in my private time, in my study, and I'm going with the flow. I better share this with the collective. I was um, studying in the book of Esther, and the, the story surrounding Esther, she's a queen, and she's also a Jew. And um, one of the king's top men put out a uh, order for Jews to be killed. And so Esther's uncle had to get the message to her because she's in the kingdom. So... The message had to get to Esther that the order has been put out that all of the kings, I mean the Jews, are ordered to be killed. You know, they're put up under torture and scrutiny of what's going on uh, regarding the hardship on the Jews. So, the message came back to Esther from her uncle Mordecai. He's dressed in sackcloth. He, they're fasting. They're doing everything, going through all kind of struggles and, and torture and hardship. So Esther didn't know any of this. So the message got back to Esther. Mordecai was asking, uh, requesting that Esther go to the king in mercy for the people, for the Jews, because Mordecai was letting her know if she doesn't stand in her place. Because, okay, let me back up. The name Esther means star. And how this story is going to relate to our current circumstances and what's going on as above, so below, in our heavens and all. And it's, it's, it's amazing how God, the universe, the Most High, our Father, will come right at home to where we are within our spirits and reveal this stuff. But Mordecai was reaching out to Esther. Since she was in the king's home, uh, in the court of the kings, she's in there with the, the main, the, the, the king of the city or whatever so mordecai was stepping to sending messages to esther which means star star so in other words mordecai was asking esther it's time to let your light shine it's time for you to speak up because you don't know god may have you in that place for such a time as this if you don't step up, you're going to get killed too because you're a Jew too. So Esther was becoming a little intimidated because the king hasn't, the only ones the king can go before the king is the ones that he put out his scepter to. So let me go, okay, Mordecai, or oh, I, don't, I don't know if I want to say this yet or not, but scepter okay the only people that can come before the king is the ones that the king point out the scepter to and esther the shining star that was put in the king's palace for such a time as this to speak up for the jews because they were in up under order to be killed to be massacred to be uh hardship and and everything against the jews and esther is in a place where she can speak out against all of that mess that was going on she was in a place to speak up to go and plead for the people so she explained to mordecai that that wasn't some, that wasn't the way it happens that's not the way it happens. 
You have to go by procedures. But this is what God is coming before us to let us know. We're not doing things as the old way. Going by the laws. Going by the rules of this. The rules of that. That old stuff was no good. It was. It, it, it's, it's time out for that. You're going to have to step up and step above the limitations, the boundaries. Because we have had boundaries put on us that were of man, not of God. And it's time that these boundaries gotten uh, knocked down, moved out of the way. So Esther, the star that God got in that place for such a time as this, she had to get courage to go to the king, even though you weren't appointed to go to the king. No, I'm going to the king. I'm going to stand right here in his face, and he's going to have to see me. He's going to have to hear me. So lo and behold, Esther got courage and went to the king and stood before the king. And that king pointed out that scepter. Esther put her hand on top of that scepter. Well, let me read it. It is the book of Esther, chapter 4. And, okay, the book of Esther, chapter 4. Let's start here. I'm going to read the one that put out this, this thing on the Jews. It say, and Mordecai, that's Esther's uncle. Mordecai told him all that had happened unto him and to the sum of the money that Haman had promised to pay the kings of treasuries for the Jews to destroy them. So the person that put out that order, he was going to pay the king's treasuries to have the Jews killed. He's paying to have them killed. Relate this to what's going on today. We got people setting orders, whether we know it or not, or whether we, how our perception of it is, it, orders have been sent out to have the people killed. That person's name was Haman. And Haman means... Haman means noise, mass of people causing confusion, disorder, uproar, ruckus, racket. So Haman, he's causing all this confusion, all this, all the people, all uh, a mass, a massive uproar. Don't that seem like what we're involved in today? It's a massive uproar, uh, confusion, and 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 just just tumult, just craziness. Haman has sent out an order to have the people killed, and then so all the people now there the message has gotten back to Esther. So this is what Esther he she say. There is one law of his to put him to death, except such to whom the king shall hold out the golden scepter, that he may live. The only way you're going to live if you step up to the king is unless he pointed that scepter to you. You're going to die if the king didn't, it didn't have you to come before him. How dare you step before the king and you weren't called. Esther got to get up courage, whether she his wife or not. He got many wives, but whether she's his wife or not, she has to get courage to go before the king because she said, it's been 30 days and the king has not called me. She said, but I have not been called to come into the king's these 30 days. So Esther hasn't been called before the king in 30 days. So that's going to take courage for her to step before the king because she could get struck dead on the spot. But Mordecai letting her know, your name is Esther. 
It's time for you to stand up as a star. Shine. Because God got you in a place at such a time as this. Where does God have you in a place to speak up, to shine, in spite of the boundaries? The boundaries are being, we are walking over them, moving them out of our way. They are set by man and not by God. God is interfering, moving boundaries of man out of the way. But we've got to stand, shine Speak up as a star shine bright. The star that we are. And this is what Mordecai. Mordecai means. Oh, I, I, I see every time I want to tell you the meaning of Mordecai. This is show you how God is a present help in the time of trouble. I don't even want to say what Mordecai means yet. Oh, it's so beautiful. Right now, we have a lot going on in our heavens, in the galaxies. That is making historical, timely events. Things haven't been happening over 1,400 years ago. All through December, there are things that are happening. I think December 21st is the next major one. We have had eclipses of planets and I mean it's it's this it this is the such a time as this. This is now. As above so below. Again, I'm not going to say what Mordecai means just yet, but take in mind Esther means star. We we as above so below. For if, okay, this is what Mordecai told Esther. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall there be enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. If you don't do it, somebody else will do it. God always have rams in the bushes. God always, his, the universe will prevail. If you look at it as good and evil, whatever, no. If you look at it as God and the devil, no. The devil is not control in control of nothing. He can only be in control of what God allowed him to. God has the last word. God is in control. No matter what confusion, what massive people causing a ruckus and, and havoc on the land against the people. Calling out an order for the people to be killed. It may look like the enemy is in control. But God has this all in control. Hate to see things happening. But we have to have a perception of that all things are working together for good. It may not feel good. It may not look good. But, uh, but for us to receive the godly like perception of what is happening in our world, in our lives, in our homes, we have to see it as it's working out for our good. And if God is calling a person to stand up, to shine, to speak out, if you don't follow what's in your heart, God will have another one in place to do it. He said, if Esther, she, he said, arise to the Jews for another place, but thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. Saying, if you don't stand up, God will have another one stand up in your place to deliver our people. Whether And who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Yes, Esther is in that place, in that kingdom, in that palace. For such a time as this. The people have been. An order has been put out on the people. To kill the Jews. Esther is in the king's presence. And she took the courage to go stand before the king. And this is what she did. So she say. I also and my maidens will. Will fast likewise and so I will 
I go into the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. She was going whether she was going to get struck, killed, or not. It rose up in her spirit to go. You know you have this in your spirit that God is calling you to be the one to speak out and show up and, and, and go past the laws. Break that law and go to that king. And she did. She didn't go do according to the law and wait on the king to call her forward holding out that scepter. She went against the law and went before the king. And it was so when the king saw Esther, the queen, standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight. We've got to find out when we follow our spirit, we will find the favor of God because now we're walking in the Godness in our God spirit. We're walking according to the spirit, according to our intuition, according to following the leading of God. And you will find favor. Things will be, you now you're in oneness with the universe, oneness with God. Because you have gone against the laws and went with your spirit. What is your spirit telling you? And she obtained favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. He held out that scepter. To me, that scepter is our spirit, is that the God within all of us. We can touch, the, okay. He held the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. I'm going to relate that scepter as being our spirit. We know that our spirit has called us to do certain things. To shine as that star. To speak up. To stand out. When that spirit calls, summons you, call you, Esther touched the top of that scepter. She touched the head of that scepter. She drew near to her spirit. And, be, and, and, and got into the oneness of the deity within. The greatest discovery is tapping into the deity within. Touching the head of that scepter of the God within us all. We are God. The very essence of God resides in us. But will we reach out? Will we draw near? Will we take the courage and go against the law and go with our spirit and we will find favor? We will find favor when we start walking according to our spirit. Now I'll tell you what the meaning of Mordecai means. And we know, if we don't know by now, I'm telling you, there are historical moments going on in the heavens that are making historical events happening in our lives here on earth. As above, so below, it's telling exactly what's happening and it's, symbolic of what is going on here in this world in this earth on our in our lives in our families in our in our world right now mordecai means dedicated to mars where did mars come up in all this how did mars just pop in on the scene I mean, we've got to know that God is speaking to us. God is speaking to us.
speaking to us. Mordecai is the one that went to Esther. Mordecai is the one that's dedicated to Mars. The heavens is coming speaking. The universe is speaking within our spirit. It's been, the story is being told within our heavens. Within our kingdom within. The greatest discovery is to discover the kingdom within. It is not without. God is not without. Some pie in the sky. God is you. Tap into it. Tap into the energy, the essence of you. That's the greatest discovery of knowing who you are. You are God. Every one of us have that potential, that blink of an eye, snap of a finger to be in that power, that essence, the glory. It's not something that we have to be taught. We maybe can direct you and instruct you on, you know, but this is something every individual has to do on their own, have to discover within their own, their own selves. How to become one with, with your spirit. You are God. It can be done in the blink of an eye. Because you are it. You, it's no separating. When the body die, die, die down, we still are energy. In the, we're energy. We're the blackness of the space. We're, we're, we're here. There is no separation. Mordecai means dedicated to Mars. Now let's find out what Mars means. Mars symbolizes war. We feel like that's what's going on within our world right now. It's a war against a uh, uh, chemical virus, uh, like a war against even within ourselves. Uh, a war of putting the lower nature and, 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 and elevating to higher levels of thinking and being. This It's a war. Mars symbolizes war. But Mars also is the planet of desire, of action, energy, courage. So Mars also is, is the planet that is here causing for action. Causing for the stars to shine bright. Speak up. Shine. What has God put you in the place at such a time as this? What is your spirit telling you to speak up and speak out and shine as the star that you are? Because if you don't do it, there is someone in the place to take the place. So Mars is in our world, in our surroundings, speaking, take action. Follow your desire of your spirit. Mars also has the tallest mountain in the whole solar system, but it's also the smallest planet. You could be the smallest thing, insignificant. But when God has called you to speak up and speak out and to shine, you become the tallest mountain in the solar system in your world. Where is God put you in a place at such a time as this? What are you being called to do? To speak? Take the courage. Take action. Follow your spirit and you will find favor. God got you. It's to take action and not always reacting. Mars is here to give us that courage, that fire. It's a fiery planet to take action, not always reacting from something, somebody or something. No, it's time to take action. Follow your spirit. Take action. Mars also can be anger, aggression, 
animalistic fight for survival. It magnetized the competitive nature. Very impulsive. We can see that going on right now here in the United States. In certain people, even at the highest level, having that Mars negative energy, having the, 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 the you could either be constructive or destructive. We see it at the highest level here in the United States. The Mars energy taken to the destructive side of things. But we have got to turn that and use Mars energy. It's a masculine energy, but we have got to take it and turn it into constructive and not destructive. Mars is here on our scene. We have a lot going on in our heavens, in the galaxies, in the universe. Mars energy is here. Causing us to have the courage to speak up, to, to take the action, to follow our spirit of what God, the universe, your God, your higher power, your source is leading you to do. Find favor. Favor with God and favor with man. Because what was the first shall be the last. And what was last shall be the first. Tables are turning. Follow your spirit so you can find favor in this turning, in this switch. It's a countdown. It's time is counting down. Be in the favor. So let me read what scepter mean. Let me go back. I'm checking my notes. Scepter, again, I think I did touch on it. That scepter that was held out by the king and Esther touched the head of that scepter. To me, she touched her spirit. She touched the higher vibrations, the higher, that's the royal staff. Now she's walking in high vibrating, high frequencies, high, higher standards, higher way of life, royalty. She became one with that king, one with the highest. Not ashamed, coming boldly, not ashamed, coming boldly. Let's go boldly and receive what is being offered to us. Receive what is already here. Receive that which you are. So when I found that uh, Mordecai meant dedicated to Mars. I looked up, um, tried to find Mars in the Bible. It had Mars Hill. And we just found out that on Mars, there is the tallest mountain. Hill, mountain. Mars has the tallest mountain, but yet it is the smallest planet. And then I saw Mars again, Mars Hill, H-I-L-L, -L, a small mountain. But Mars has the tallest mountain of any, anywhere, anywhere of anywhere. It's the tallest mountain in our solar system. The tallest mountain in the whole solar system, but yet it is the smallest planet in our whole solar system. That shows you, do not despise the small, the little. Because when God, when you follow in your spirit and God is in control and God is using that, and, and it, 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 that little is massive in God's hand within your spirit. Of the directing from the spirit. So the next place that I found. And I'm closing with this. The next place that I found the Mars Hill. Mars in the Bible. It was.